Hey, this is what we say, Jim Stars. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video. Check it out, man. If you like the video, you like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content. Let's get right into it, man. Look, I want to show y'all the jump shot that I have been using, and I hope this is it. Boom, this is it right here. This is the one that I've been using for the last few days. It is Carmelo Anthony with the, is the base. Then you have um, a base or release 134 and release 14. This has been my go-to release for the last few uh, last few months of last 2K. And it seems like this is a good release for this 2K. I'm going to just show you all a few shots and then, uh, you know, we're going to go from there. But look, the reason I like this release is because you get to make a lot of whites. Oh, yeah. Gemstar gear. That's going to be in the store today. Check, just keep checking back. Bridget is putting it up right now. Uh, so y'all should see that up. Uh, I've given her the design and so she's gonna put it in the store. But anyway, this shot, I turned off my shot meter and I'm just shooting it straight off field and I don't know why my shot meter is on and it just made me feel bad. But I, I'm gonna just, I turned off the shot meter, I'm shooting it straight off field. I feel like you guys should do the same. If you want to improve your jump shot, look, I, I feel like this, if you're using the shot meter if you need the shot meter, that's fine. Everybody's different. If you just want the shot meter so you can see your greens a little bit better, that's fine as well. But if you're relying on the shot meter, just imagine like this. If you're relying on the shot meter, it's just like you have on training wheels on your bike. A person with training wheels cannot go as fast, and that's too deep. A person with training wheels can't go as fast as a person who doesn't have training wheels, right? So, I mean, that's, that's how you know that's the white walker. But um, imagine it like that. If you are outright relying on, and y'all can see you can make a lot of whites with this no flexible release, here we go, green. Um, a, a person that's relying on their shot meter doesn't really know their shot. If you're relying on it, I'm not saying if you're using it, I'm saying if you're relying on it, we all gonna use the shot meter in order to find our shot, right? But once you learn it, you shouldn't need it anymore. And if you're gonna be one of the top shooters in the game, I'm, I'm telling you right now, you're not gonna make enough with the shot meter on. You're going to have to turn the shot meter off and you're just gonna have to learn your jump shot, feel your jump shot, learn how to shoot it with, uh, without, almost without looking at the screen because that's what it's going to take to be a top level shooter in this game. This is not 2K19 where everybody was a good shooter. Didn't matter what your archetype was, didn't matter what your shooting was. They made it like that because that's what we asked for. We wanted to be based on shot timing and now, They've taken it to the next level, and this is no, it's no longer just based on shot timing. It's based on shot timing and your ratings, but mostly your shot timing now. Like, like it's almost like ratings are taken out of it. Well, not ratings are taken out of it. Ratings are a big influence on, on how your shot timing is, and that's what I said. That's what I was saying last year. I said it should be, it shouldn't just be shot timing. It should be shot timing as a function of your ratings, which means they're gonna take your ratings into account when we talk about the green window or how you know how easy it is for you to shoot. So a person with a 95 shot should be able to hit more shots than a person with an 80 shot. But if the person with an 80 shot knows their shot, you should be hitting about the same amount of shots. Okay, now the ball gets stuck. Bro, only in my videos with silly stuff like that happen. You should be able to hit the same amount of shots like this. You should be able to use the 95 to compensate well, and I'm not even really looking at the screen when I'm shooting either. You should be able to use a 95 to compensate for your lack of skill. But if you're a skilled player, the break point, so you have to have a break point, right? So the break point will be around 80 or so. Uh, anything above 75 really or 80. If you really know your shot, you can shoot well with a 75. There's no doubt about it. But 80 is where it really seems like it just really breaks even and you can hit shots this year. Um, even around that 84 mark, you're gonna hit more and more shots. So just keep that in mind. Like I said, get on here, learn your jump shot. That, that, that was a bad gather and it still went in. Get on here, learn your jump shot. Use some of these jump shots that I'm giving you. I'm putting out a jump shot video. How often should I put out a new jump shot video? Because y'all know I go through and I look at all of this. I'm not a skilled player. I'm not a good player. So I lack, I compensate for my lack of skill with things that are in the game. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like I ain't, I ain't T-Mizzle. I'm not, I'm not Swante. I'm not guys that are actually really, really good at the game. I use the things in the game to compensate. I ain't man, man, grind hard, guys like that. I use things in the game to compensate 
for my lack of skill. So because I'm not that good, I find the things in the game that I can use to my advantage. I don't want to call them exploits because they're not exploits that are in the game, but they're new, uh, the nuances. I find the nuances in the game that can make me a little bit better or make me appear to be better than what I am. Like this build right here, I sacrificed dribbling so that I could play great defense and have Hall of Fame Intimidator and stuff like that. So it makes me seem like I'm better on defense. But you know, it is what it is. Y'all understand what I'm trying to say. Not everybody's a 2K guru like Brute. Not everybody's a great player like T Mizzle or Swante, Iso Sensei, Super God, all that stuff. Not everybody can do what Steezo can do. Some people gotta be role players. I'm gonna be the best role player I can. And the best thing I can do as a role player is not miss shots. And even though I miss some of these shots, because I'm, I'm I'm talking to you guys and I'm not actually looking at the screen when I'm when I'm shooting them. Look, this is the best thing you can do. Somebody, that, if you're playing with a, re, a really good player that's gonna get buckets, and if you got two exceptional players like Paul and T, bro, the best thing I can do is not let my man score on silly stuff, and then hit open shots. That's it. That's all I gotta do. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Take pride in being a in in. In, in being a role player. Somebody got to do it. Everybody can't be a superstar. We can't win like that. Somebody got to sacrifice that 99. But I tell you what, if you're a role player or if you're another player that feels like you got to have the ball all the time, it may not work. So while you may not appreciate it sometimes, hey, hey, the person that you're playing with, I'm pretty sure they damn sure appreciate it. But anyway, that's all I got for y'all today, man. I just want to show y'all this jump shot. Uh, this is the jump shot I've been using. I'm going to make a new jump shot today, and I'll be using it all week. If it's a good jump shot, I'll release it. If I feel like it's not a good shot, I'm not going to release it because y'all know how I get down. I don't put out false information. I'm not going to shoot. Um, let me show y'all one of these games that we played in the wreck. I'm not going to come out here and shoot uh, 5 for 19 with a shot. And, and 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 then put it out there. Like, this is me shooting in the wreck. 12 out of 14, three or four from three. And the two that I missed were shots that I shouldn't have taken in the first place. Hey, that dude, Falcom. Bro, he scored 44 points, but he took 33 shots and shot, you know, almost a little bit over 50%. I mean, he did his thing, but, you know, it, it, it is what it is. But look, I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna come out here and show y'all a jump shot and, and I'm not getting buckets with said jump shot. Hold up, is this one where we was in the wreck? Let me see, this might be one where I did. Look, this might be one where I didn't do anything. Who who knows? But I mean, look, you see me 100% from three, two threes. All right, that's still 100% from three, three threes. Still 100% from three, four threes. Hold on, let me see if we can, if we can, if we can uh, show that. Look at that, still 100% from three, watch me, watch me. Ooh, look at the off ball movement I got. Look at the off ball movement. Buckets. Look, still 100%. We get down to the end. The one that I missed, that's probably one where we blowing them out and I probably shouldn't have taken that shot anyway. Look, because I, I I get, ant yeah. Yeah, okay, you see what happened? I came, I thought he was gonna close out, so I was gonna take a step to the left and then he didn't close out. Quick first step activates and, and you know, whatever. But anyway, let me show y'all what I shot that game. I'm gonna let y'all get up out of here, man. Um. Just to let y'all know that it is a cap. Like, I have good games like this all the time. I don't know why I had my shot meter on. I think that was during... I mean, like, bro, why doesn't 2K leave your shot meter off? 86% from three, 25 points. Uh, what they saying? 86%. Yeah, 75% with 25. So, that game, I went six out of eight from three and nine for 12. So, like, I'm not showing... The, the stuff that I'm showing y'all, it ain't no cap, Captain. This is, this is like real, real stuff. I am the ultimate role player. And people are happy that I'm the ultimate role player. Let me actually look at this shot and shoot a green. Because I'm tired of I'm tired of these whites going in. But like I said, the best way to shoot this shot, as soon as it comes right over his head, just let it fly. Boom. That's all you want to do. When he gets it right here, you can let it go. And you can put this, you can actually put the release on a faster jump shot or something like that. But uh this is just the base that I like with it. I like mellow so far. I'm thinking if I combine this with a base that gets more greens and hits more whites, and I got a, I got a base in mind because I saw the, the base with the biggest green window, we're going to put that in there. If I combine it with that, I think we should have ourselves something really, really special. But it is what it is, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, like the video. Subscribe for more daily 2K content. Make sure 
that you turn on post notifications and all that. We got a great 2K news video coming up for y'all later on today. Uh, I just got to get up out of here, and I can't really, I can't really do the video that I want to do. Uh, say hello to my beautiful wife in the background. Breezy in the background holding the chat down, the natural chat down. And we're going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ, also known as Leroy Greens. Holler!